Uh, Deuteronomy 24 and 6. They just want me to explain it. Same here. All right. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 24 and verse 6. Mm -hmm. No man shall take the nether or the upper millstone to pledge, for he take taketh a man's life to pledge. Right. So this is going into pledges. So it says, all right, when you make a pledge uh, with one of your brothers, let's say, let's say I was going to lend my car to Officer Obadiah, right? No. No, 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 no. Yeah, car, my car, right? But let's say... You were a person who cut grass for a living, right? So I lend you my car. And then I say, hey, all right, in return, in collateral, I need your lawnmower for the day. All right? Now, what did I just do, brothers? Knowing that that's his profession, will he be able to work that day? No. So he's going to miss out on a lot of money that day, right? So it says... In verse 6, no man shall take the nether or the upper millstone to pledge. Hey, just type it in. Type it in, uh, Google, so y'all can see what this is talking about. Upper millstone. This is going into your profession. All right, so it says these are tools that you use to work, okay? So the scripture says, no man shall take the nether or the upper millstone to pledge. For he taketh a man's life, meaning a man's life, that's his occupation. That's how he eats. Okay, so it says when you make a pledge, do not do that. Okay, that's what that's going into. You, had, you said you had something? Okay. Another example of that, uh, when you look into the pledge, it's not, it's not something, it's something that you're going to return. For example, you, if you remember the story of Judah, when Judah slept with his step uh, uh, daughter, mm -hmm. he 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 did a pledge with her. Um, he gave her his staff and a bracelet, I believe. And they say, when you bring it back to me, I'll give you a a, a kid goat. That was that was a pledge. It goes into that same thing. Hey, real quick, um, let's do Exodus twenty-two. And then we'll come back to Deuteronomy 24. Exodus chapter 22 and verse 25. Mm -hmm. If thou lend money to any of my people that is poor by thee, thou shalt not be to him as an usury. Mm -hmm. Neither shall thou lay upon him usury. Right. So this is going into the same thing. We're just going to elaborate on a little bit. It says if you lend money to any of your people, you should not. Uh, due to him as usury. That usury is going into interest, all right? So say your brother or your sister needed some money that was really down and out. You say, okay, I, I'll, I'll let you borrow 20 till tomorrow. Um, And, hey, hey play that video, bro. Y'all got to see this thing. Yashay, where's Yashay at? Get, get it going, man. Play this freaking video. Go to Facebook. It is hilarious, man. Gosh, it just came to my mind when I said that. Let me hold $20 to tomorrow. Uh, Y'all got, hey, this thing's funny, bro. All right. Dim the lights and everything. Y'all got to get ready for this moment, man. Dim, hey, dim the lights, Jehu. Go, or some one of y'all, whoever's over there, dim the lights. Y'all got to get ready for this thing. Hey, is the volume up? Is it Because I'm telling you, it's got to hit one time. That's it. You better cut that volume up. All right, play it. Let me borrow twenty dollars to the mom. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. Oh man. All right, so let's go back to Exodus twenty-two, twenty-five, man. That thing's funny, bro. All right, read that, Exodus 22 and 25. The Exodus chapter 22 and verse 25. Uh-huh. If thou lend, excuse me. <laughs> uh, the book of Exodus chapter 22 and verse 25. Come on. If thou lend money to any of my people that is poor by thee, thou shalt not be to him as an usurer. Mm -hmm. Neither shalt thou lay upon him usury. Read on. If thou at all take 
thy neighbor's raiment to pledge, mm -hmm. thou shalt deliver it unto him by the sun goeth down. Right. You shall deliver it unto him by when the sun goeth down. Why? Um, go back to Deuteronomy 24. Okay. Uh, Deuteronomy 24 and verse 12. Deuteronomy uh, 11. Deuteronomy chapter 24 and verse 11. No, you're right, 12. I'm sorry. That's my mistake. 12. And, and verse 12. And if the man be poor, thou shalt not sleep with his pledge. Thou shalt not sleep with his pledge. Meaning, remember, uh, you said you got to deliver it back to him by sundown, right? All right, read. Verse 13. In any case, thou shalt deliver him the pledge again when the sun goeth down, mm -hmm. that he may sleep in his own raiment. Right, because if he's poor and you got his raiment as a pledge, he's going to freeze. You feel what I'm saying? He has no clothes. All right, read. And bless thee, and it shall be righteousness unto thee before the Lord thy God. Right, that's righteous, but our people don't see it as that. Uh, a lot of, like, uh, what's that, drug dealers... Gangsters, they be like, if you ain't got my money, they don't care. You understand? Now nah, we're not we're not supposed to deal with each other like that. Oh yeah, nah, I ain't, I ain't even gonna go over that. Go over, go to Proverbs the sixth chapter real quick. Proverbs chapter six. I ain't gonna bring that back up. I don't feel like it. <laughs> Proverbs, yeah, I know, I know. Wicked Negroes. Proverbs chapter six and verse one. Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. My son, if thou be surety for thy friend, if thou hast stricken thy hand with a stranger. Right, with the stranger. We just read that in Deuteronomy 24. If you be surety, mean to lend to them, help them out when they're in need. Read. Thou art snared with the words of thy mouth. You are now bound with the words of your mouth. So if you said you're going to lend to them, you have to do it. Okay, read. Thou art taken with the words of thy mouth. Read. Do this now, my son, and deliver thyself. When thou art come into the hand of thy friend, mm -hmm. go, humble thyself, and make sure thy friend. Make sure your friend is good. Read. Give not sleep to thine eyes, nor slumber to thine eyelids. Right. Don't let the sun go down uh, without you getting this done. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it on that. You have something as well, officer? Go ahead. Just go going back to that scripture you brought out earlier. Uh, give me that in Psalms 106 and 35. This God is telling us the way we should not deal with our brethren. And understand, we we learn a lot of the ways from Esau, and we we take them as they're our ways. Read that. The Book of Psalms, chapter 106 and verse 35. Read. But were mingled among the heathen, and learned their works. So that's what's going on. We we actually uh, we learn ways from the heathen, and we we actually exploit that thing. And we do it to our own brethren. So what we got to do is make sure we always go into the, the word of God and, and, and let God ways set the standard for how we live our lives. That's all I got. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. I U I C has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.